found a way to grow on Twitch. When I changed my strategy, I went from like one average concurrent viewer over to now, I think here at the end, I'm like 14 or 15, 14. It hovers between 14 or 15. And this is in the period of a month and a half. I do two streams per day. And here's the long and short of it. I just started streaming a niche game on Twitch. It's just a game that not many people stream. And when you do that, a lot more people come in to watch you. You have a lot less competition and you can actually grow. So all of those people who are trying to stream all of these top games and you're never getting any traction, you're never going to get any traction and you could be doing something totally different, but you need to be streaming these games down here at the bottom where you don't have competition. It's the same thing we say over and over again, looking at supply versus demand. All I did was I streamed a game that had a low supply and higher demand on Twitch and that's it. That's pretty much it. Well, unpopular games, I mean, that's there's a whole library of unpopular games out there that somebody could stream, and a lot of which would be a bad idea for streaming. You have a very specific type of research method that you use when you go from Facebook gaming, there's a way that you research that. Twitch, I know that there's probably a way that you research that. YouTube, you can actually look at the analytics, you can look at Google Trends. There's different ways to research which games you could or should be streaming on each platform, depending on the platform. So walk us through, when you're browsing through the Twitch browse section. You're looking at all the games here. What signifiers are you seeing with these different games? What are you looking at to understand that there is, like you said, that low supply and yet that higher demand and there's actually an opportunity to grow there. Can you walk us through that thought process? This is an old marketing strategy. You wanna be on top of the fold. You want your title and your stream. You don't have to scroll, you don't have to break, you don't have to do any additional activity. As soon as you load, you're there somewhere to be found. This dramatically increases the chance that you'll be discovered and dramatically increases the amount of traffic that comes through your stream. Just by restreaming, you got 400 followers, 51 subscriptions, and you made close to 200 bucks on Twitch just by throwing a restream over there. I mean, this is like the results are <laughs> right in front of you, everybody. Yeah. Like we keep telling you about restream and these are the real results here. Imagine if you were only streaming on one platform. Imagine if say, for example, you were only streaming on Facebook gaming, you would have missed out on all of these results right here. And the revenue that you see right there on Twitch that pays for your Adobe Premiere subscription, that pays for your new mouse, that pays for your restream subscription, that pays for your your Xbox Game Pass, whatever, that extra revenue on the side right there is really helping your business grow just by kicking an additional stream over here on Twitch. Like, I don't know, guys, like, I don't know. I don't know how else to communicate the fact that this works other than literally looking at your screen right now. I take what's big on Facebook gaming and then what's small on Twitch. And that's the opportunity because I'm multi-streaming. Because if you stream whatever's big on Facebook, that gets you organic traction. And if you stream what's niche on Twitch, that gets you organic traction. So if you do both at the same time, now you're kind of metagaming a little bit. With oh my your gosh, strategy. that is brilliant. Yeah, because Facebook gaming will actually serve your live stream to viewers because they have a real algorithm and they're pushing your stream to viewers. So if you go big there, you have a larger pie and Facebook's actually helping you get a piece of that larger pie. Whereas on Twitch, the only way to be discovered on Twitch is to be higher up in that hierarchy. And the only way to be higher up in the hierarchy on Twitch is to go after the teeny games where you're basically king of the pond the, soon as you, the moment you step in there. That's pretty brilliant. So big on Facebook gaming, small on Twitch, and then you grow on both at the same time if you restream. That's freaking brilliant, man. I never thought about, yeah. I actually never thought about that. And I thought I thought about everything.